Hello everyone. If you are measuring a product or student performance based on their quality of different categories, then creating a scoring matrix in Excel is the best option for you. So, this is Jihad Riyan Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several steps on how to create a scoring matrix in Excel. In mathematics, a matrix is a collection of data that is kept in a rectangular format. The horizontal part is known as rows, where the vertical part is known as columns. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the criteria, weight, and student's score and name in the column B to column F. Our target is to create a scoring matrix chart with the help of this data set. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. To create a scoring matrix, we need the help of total score, weighted score, percentage of best score and rank. So at first, we'll go for the total score which is in the D11 cell and insert the sum function to add up all the values in a certain range. Now, we want to determine the total score of Robert, so we'll select the value of D6 to D9, press the enter button to get the total score of Robert. Now, use the fill handle tool from left to right to get the total score for Nicholas and Henry also. After that, we'll go for the weighted score. We'll use the sum product for this case. The sum product returns the sum of the products of corresponding ranges or arrays and in this case we are trying to get the weighted score for Robert so we'll again select the first array of D6 to D9 and then we'll move on to the array 2 which is the weight and it is in the C6 to C9 as it will be constant for Robert, Nicholas and Henry so we'll use F4 in the keyboard to make it absolute. Press the enter button to get the weighted score for Robert in the D12 cell. Now use the fill handle tool to get the weighted score for Nicholas and Henry also. Then go for the percentage of best which can be determined by using the weighted score and divide it by the max which returns the largest value in a set of values. Now in a set of values, well, Select the value of D12 to F12 and make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard. Press the enter button to get the percentage of best for Robert. Now use the fill handle tool to get the same result for Nicholas and Henry. To determine their rank, at first we need to go for the D14 cell and insert the rank function. The rank function returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers, its size relative to the other values in the list. So at first, we need to go for the value which is in the D13 and then we'll go for our reference which is in the D13 to F13 and make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard. Now use the enter button to get the rank for Robert. Use the fill handle tool to get the result for Nicholas and Henry also. So that's it for today. You can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.